I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Uh, today we are talking about road signs. Yep. And here we have a no entry sign. Yep. Uh, would you find these indoors as well as outdoors? Sometimes. Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, definitely if you had an underground car park, you could use that in an underground car park if you wanted to, people to not be able to go that that direction through that that area, yep. for sure. So yeah, but um, do you only find them on post, or could you find them on the wall as well? Yep. So um, good question. Uh, this primarily would be post mounted. Um, so I would mount this sign at 1.6 metres off the ground to the top of the sign, um, approximately, and um, so that's the lowest post that we sell and that's been typically a good 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 height for people that are sitting low in a car as they're coming along it's in their direct line of sight and um, as they approach that intersection it's a lot harder to miss it if it's at that height um, and um, i wouldn't typically put it higher than that unless it's going to be well above head height and it just when it's a well above head height it's probably a little bit easier to miss um, so you know, generally people are slowing at, at the approach to the intersection and, um, uh, you know, if it's down at that height where they're about to turn into, say, an, an area that's, say, uh, one way, the other way, then obviously it's going to be uh, right in their face to be able to, set, to see that and not have any excuse that they missed it. Yeah. Um, it, it. You do have people that will sometimes miss them um, and it just gets too late because uh, everything's a bit busy when they're approaching that intersection and they've already committed to the turn or something like that. Um, and in that, some, those instances, um, if it's recurring, then you could potentially think about getting the larger ones because this is the A size, which is the most common size, mm -hmm. but there is a B size and a C size, which are bigger, okay. um, which would be primarily f used when, uh, when you've got a, a problem intersection where people are uh, regularly uh, turning when they shouldn't. Yep. And how would they attach it to the post? <laughs> um, so most of these signs will have a hole top and bottom. Um, so this one here, if you if I turn the sign around, you can see there are holes, um, which the, the holes doesn't show at the, the front, however, because the vinyl is covering it and you can just punch a hole through with your knife. If you've got a Stanley knife or something else similar, um, you can punch a hole through so that uh, you can mount your brackets. Um, the brackets we sell separately and um, that might be within the listing so you can add them to, to the uh, product to your shopping cart when you're um, checking out. However, if you're wanting to buy them separately in a different quantity than two per sign, you can buy them separately as well. Um, you're saying something before about signs have reflectiveness on them. What does that yep. exactly mean? Okay, so um, in the old days they used to use glass beads to make things reflective and they would uh, embed them within a vinyl and they figured out that there's better ways to do it and so this is actually a micro prismatic reflective and so there's, um, there's, there's um, a material inside of the vinyl that's multi-layered that's creating a uh, pr prismatic reflective uh, effect and so any light that hits this will bounce back now there are different grades of reflective so you know there's class one class two um, class one a class one w and etc now uh, the Australian standards dictate which which class that you should use and in the old days it used to be class two now it's class one uh, and it might change in the future to class one a but um, um, we at advanced group we're always trying to stay with the Australian standards so in general uh, everything that we sell that is Australian standard will say on the website it's Australian standards and that will meet it um, as far as how much light it reflects um, can be between 35 to 40 percent of the light coming from the headlights comes back towards you um, and at a big angle so even if your car's not facing directly at the sign it will still reflect the light to, back to the car even if your car is at a bit of an angle to the sign. So do you know the measurements of this sign here that we're talking about? Is this the smallest yep. one? Yep. Uh, yep, this is the smallest one. This is 450 mil square. So 450 mil wide, 450 mil tall. Um, and that's the standard size for, a, um, for this R2-4A. 
And they're all the same thickness, are they? Yeah, this is a 1.6 mil thick, uh, it's a marine grade aluminium. And uh, the marine grade aluminium with the high temper is chosen because it's not going to rust or corrode. You can have it near an ocean environment like Bayside. And it's fairly strong, so it means uh, it's harder to, uh, f fairly difficult to um, vandalise. And if you come into contact with it because of the thickness, it's not going to maybe cut you as much as a thin aluminium, I mean, a thin colour bond or something like that might. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Anything I've else? Learned a, I've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go to maybe the longevity. Um, this comes with a 10 year warranty guarantee. So, the vinyl that, uh, that the printing is on is got a 10 year lifetime and the printing has a UV over laminate, which means it's gonna last a long time in the sun. Um, it, it depends how much sun it's got on it as to how long it's gonna last. So most of these things would last up to 20 plus years. Um, if it is in direct sun and for whatever reason, it's, um, you know, never ever, you know, in an environment perhaps where there's just a lot of sun all year round never any shade or anything else facing directly at the sun, it might start degrading after 10 years, but it is guaranteed for 10 years, so, yep. Um, if someone were to vandalise it, do you yep. know anything that could help remove it? Like, as in with, like, like texture or paint? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, so there are lots of anti-graffiti or graffiti removal products out there, um, whether it's from um, a, a hardware store, um, or whether it's from a specialist graffiti removal company, you can definitely get uh, graffiti removal products from many different uh, outlets. So, um, you know, my first choice would be just to try and use some, some, some alcohol type based products like methylated spirits. And if that doesn't work, then you could go with something more aggressive that is purpose for graffiti. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, if you want to buy this sign, you can go to www.advancedgroup.com.au and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.